In this video, I'll share with you the top five research-based tips you can use to improve your immune system and reduce the chance of getting sick. How's it going guys? This is Chris with HealthyConsumer.com, back with another episode of TGIF, Talking Gut Immuno Fridays, where we talk about gut health, immune health, and everything related to those subjects. If that sounds like something that's interesting to you, be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell so you never miss another video. Some of these things might sound like common sense, but often we don't put all these different pieces together. So with that, we're going to dive right into it. Tip number one, focus on the gut. The gut makes up greater than 80% of your immune system, so it is the first thing to come in contact with the outside world. Any pathogens, bacteria, viruses, molds, they will come in through your respiratory system or through your digestive system. So it's important that you take care of your gut, you're nourishing it with probiotics, and you're eating well, so it's better able to help you to fight off foreign invaders. And if you're taking care of your gut, it'll also help you to lose weight, which obesity has been linked to poor immune function as as well. This brings me to a related point. Tip number two is to eat more berries and dark leafy greens. These two types of foods, things like raspberries, blueberries, and then dark leafy greens like kale, spinach. These types of foods contain high levels of antioxidants and immune boosting compounds that will help you to better fight off infections. Give your body the tools it needs to build a healthy immune system. I know it can be a struggle to get in all the fruits and vegetables that we're supposed to, so check out my video, Sneaky Ninja Tactics on getting more fruits and vegetables in your diet. Tip number three is to take sleep seriously. An average adult needs seven hours to nine hours, seven hours minimum. And think about it, guys. If you're getting below that, let's say you're getting six hours every night, add that up over an entire week, that's an entire night of sleep that you could have got if you were sleeping seven hours. So a lot of reparative time for the body, a lot of time to bring down inflammation, so it's better able to use its resources to fight off infections. A critical part of this is sleep hygiene. Do things like sleep in a dark room. Have a sleep hygiene routine, so you're making sure you do the same things around the same time, and of course that doesn't include things like TV or video games right before bed. So take sleep seriously. Go to bed and get up at the same time. Tip number four, more recently in the literature, we found that mindfulness meditation helps to improve the immune system for as little as 12 minutes of practice per day. Mindfulness meditation is where we stay present with ourselves. It doesn't mean you have to go in a dark corner or a cave somewhere. You're just going to find an anchor point like your breath and stay present. Observe the thoughts and processes and feelings and sensations that go on in your body, but don't judge them. This has profound changes in our brain and has been shown to reduce inflammation as well. So again, by reducing inflammation, we allow the body to have its resources better able to fight off infections. I have a guided mindfulness meditation video if you check that out in the description below. Lastly, 30 minutes of cardiovascular exercise three to five days per week is critical. And that should be around 55 to 85% of your target heart rate maximum. You can type into Google target heart rate maximum calculator and that will give you an idea of where you want your heart rate to be to reap the benefits. To get an approximation of that, you're gonna take 220 minus your age. That will give you your maximum heart rate value. Of course, all forms of exercise, there are benefits as well. Strength training has incredible benefits for your immune system and just how you're going to feel about yourself. This has been another episode of TGIF, Talking Gut Immuno Fridays. If you found this helpful, be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell so you never miss another video. I look forward to seeing you guys next Friday.